Ladies and gentlemen, would you like to hear a funny internet meme? I'm sure you would. Well, we've got the details here of the Sombra um, update, changes, uh, actual massive huge buff, what the hell, Blizzard. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. I am Stylos. So we know there's going to be a PTR update very shortly or very soon because that's what Jeff has told us on the official forums. So we're waiting for that. Like Maybe it'll be today, tomorrow, who knows, right? But we know we're going to get this. However... Somebody asked on the forums, you know, a random question, and as often, the devs tend to turn up in random question threads, although it wasn't really that random because it actually had quite a lot of views on it, this thread. But basically, Rem, Rem Zenok, asked the question, Sombra we re rework, can we get a hint? Now, there was a lot of discussion in this thread, and it was cool, and it was fine, and then Jeff Goodman appears, who is indeed the uh, principal game designer. Um, he basically designs the heroes, Jeff does, and um, he tells us what's happening to Sombra. She will have an infinite invis. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You're not, your ears are not broken. She will be able to go invisible forever. Uh, obviously, when she takes an action, she'll come out of invis. But this means you can just press invis and then run away. And then sit and lie in wait. This is going to be so frustrating to play against, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. And also, a translocator just doesn't ever run out. Um, yeah. So this is what Jeff said. And so he says, sure. These changes started by seeing how far we could push the duration of her stealth and translocator abilities. As we pushed them out, it allowed her to play more and more as a scout slash infiltrator for your team. <laughs> Does he mean scout slash spy? Has he been playing Team Fortress 2 again? Come on, Jeff. <laughs> for your team and also allow her to, to more time to pick and choose when and where she popped out to ambush her enemies. Now, it seems like a bit of a meme, doesn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Allow her more time to choose her enemies. Let's just give her all of the time in the world. I mean, what? <laughs> anyway, so then he goes on to say, she now has infinite duration on both stealth and translocator. But we had to solve a couple of problems. I can't believe, I cannot believe I've just read that. She now has infinite duration on both stealth and translocator. But we had to solve a couple of problems that were caused by these changes. For one, she needed to be able to destroy the translocator, or it would often be stuck in some place she didn't want to be. To that end, you can now destroy it by looking towards it and pressing the interact key. Also, stealth giving you 75% bonus movement speed forever was a bit strong. You know, yeah, maybe, Jeff. Maybe like giving you just invis forever might be a bit strong. <laughs> what the hell? This bonus has been lowered to 50%. So that's nice. Bit of a bit of a nerf there, but yeah. Uh, in addition, she can no longer contest objectives while in stealth. Since she... Uh, since she that... What? Hang on. Is that even English? Let me just read this again. In addition, she can no longer contest objectives while in stealth. Since she that would just be super frustrating with infinite duration. Yeah, whatever. It, it's super frustrating with infinite duration. That's all I'm reading there from that sentence, Jeff. Anyway, moving on. These changes are really interesting for her, as now she is in, a, in complete control over when she reveals herself. So that, that sounds lewd, like reveals herself, like flashing in the street. And, or maybe I'm just sick, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Allow her to time her hacks better for a team, or go for a backline ambush during a critical moment in a team fight. I guess that was more of a hint, or more than a hint. Oh dear. So, you can probably tell by the tone of my voice, ladies and gentlemen, this sounds absolutely bloody stupid. Like, what? Think about how Sombra is played right now. Okay, she doesn't have crazy high playtime, but she's frustrating as hell, right? When she's in Viz, you get hacked. Like, Jeff has made no mention here about reducing the hack time or anything like that. A good Sombra player can use the current stealth to get into a position, hack you before you can react, and then you're pretty much screwed if you're most heroes in the game because you can't really do anything, right? You get hacked and you're sort of, oh God. So in a 1v1 situation, that gives Sombra like a lot a lot of power if she hacks, let's say, a, uh, you know, a Lucio. He's kind of screwed a bit, right? If she hacks an Anna, Anna's absolutely screwed. If she hacks a Zen, like he's slightly screwed, but not as much. So it, it's obviously a major advantage to be able to get the hack. But all of the Sombra skill at the moment comes from knowing how to use your stealth to get into that position in the allotted time frame to then get off the hack. However, now you will just be able to go in Viz and just sit in the corner like a meme. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying meme in this video. You sit in the corner anyway. You're just like, all oh, right. Actually, I'm looking at Twitter because I'm just waiting. Uh, and then I'm on the voice comms. I'm like, right, guys, uh, I'm just waiting. Just waiting for them to, you know spread a bit uh oh right i'm gonna i'm gonna go now i'm gonna hack now 
Uh, that's crazy. But not only just the hack, ladies and gentlemen, think about the EMP. EMP is an amazing ability. Now, right at the moment, the way to use this is you would just sort of stealth and then throw your translocator up into the air and then hit them with a big aerial EMP most of the time. Sometimes you might just run into the enemy team and hit them. Or you'll look for the Zen and you'll EMP him and then take him out. Or you could kill the Zarya as well with this. The problem is it's all about time frame. It's all about windows of opportunity. Now there is, it's infinite, the window of opportunity because you can just sit in Viz and be like, right, I'm just gonna EMP and wait for the best moment. This seems really crazy to me and I did not expect this to be the change that we'd see coming to Sombra. I thought they were just going to look at maybe increasing the damage, maybe just doing little bits and pieces like that. But you can see they are still committed to this idea of she is a stealth hacker. I am just very worried that this is going to be massively frustrating to play against. And what worries me a little bit more as well is when you look at the history of Overwatch, um, you look at the Mercy meta we had for a long time, which was slightly annoying to play through uh, with the, the big six-man res, let's say. Then we moved into what we've got now, which is the Hanzo Q meta. Um, Hanzo is frustrating to play against, let's be honest. I enjoy playing the Hanzo, but he still is quite frustrating to play against. But you just get instantly killed. It's like, oh, what the hell? Um, and also, yeah, he, his Storm Arrows is a bit good, probably. Um, so we're just coming off that. Are we now going to go into this insane, annoying meta of Sombra just when they've sort of given us things that we wanted? It's like they give you one hand, take away with the other. Now, I might be blowing this out of proportion. Yeah, we've got LFG, we've got endorsements, and that's cool. But then to give us a hero which is permanently invis, unless the new hero has something to counter this, like maybe some sort of AOE stealth detection technology. You know, maybe it's got... You know what? Maybe that's the thing, actually. Maybe the new hero just vibrates the ground in some fashion, causing like a damage over time effect, and then that'll just pop her out of invis. Hmm. Also, I don't know if I've covered this, but um, she can no longer contest points while she's stealth as well, which is good. Because that would be stupid. Because if you, it permanently invis, you could just sit on the point, which might be ridiculous. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Especially if you're a Sombra player. What do you think? Sombra is getting a huge buff, and this should be on the PTR very soon. All right, guys, I've been Stalo, so this is Unilost. If you enjoyed the video, then like the video, and I'll catch you, lovely lot, on the next one. Toodaloo.